Hello, this is Brandon from HB Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to teach you how to unroot and relock your Motorola Zoom Wi Fi, the US version. Doesn't matter what uh, kernel or anything you're rooted and using. But uh, we're going to take it back to 3.01 stock, and then you should almost immediately get your update to stock 3.1. I'm doing this myself because 3.2 is supposedly coming within the next few weeks. And I want to see how it runs stock on 3.2 because it should be the last update before uh, 4.0 ice cream sandwich, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into this. It's going to be a lot of the same method you use to root it in the first place. Uh, there's going to be a link below to a XDA forum post on it. And you're going to need to download the file that's in that post and you're going to need to copy it into your... Uh, your SDK folder, your tools folder inside it. I'm going to show you how to do that and I'll show you all the commands you need to run. So hang tight and let's try this. Okay, after that first command, your Zoom should look like this. Starting fast boot protocol support, and then you're ready to go on to the next command. Alright, after you ran the first command, or the second command, excuse me, the reboot flash boot boot dot IMG, you should have this on your screen. So if you do, so far so good. After running fast boot flash system, system dot IMG, it should look like that. Still good. Okay, now you should have a third line like that. That's after the uh, reboot, or excuse me, fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img. So all's going well. Now, if the one for uh, the one before this, the system takes a minute, don't worry. It, takes a few seconds I'm just kind of skipping through here so you can see it and you know make this video as quick as I can alright now you should have a long line like that and it should be telling you that your user data has been rewritten that's for the reboot flash user data user data dot img user data excuse me <laughs> and that one also took a second so don't worry if it seems like it's taking a second and there you go now the fast boot erase cache is done 
as you can see it's also telling me that I'm not charging my battery so you might want to have it hooked up to the charger I don't but as you can see I almost have a full battery so as long as you're well charged up you should be safe and I should also mention the last stop I believe is optional I'm gonna do it anyways it's a uh, relocking it which I think if you don't have it locked you're not gonna receive your update I'm not 100% sure on that so it's your call but I'm gonna lock mine just to be on the safe side uh, also you should note that in this forum post that I use there's also a Mac tutorial on it I can't do that because I don't have a Mac but uh, it's basically the same steps if you follow along with the forum you should be good so let's get into the last step and I'll turn her back on. I hope she works. Okay, now we're at the, uh, the screen where it asks us, do we want to relock again? This should be a familiar screen to you. It's down to choose yes. So let's hit the volume marker down and see what happens. Uh, it changes it to yes. Now we hit up. And it's formatting. Now everybody cross your fingers and hope my zoom still works after this. <laughs> I've only seen one other person try this and say that it worked, so here's for hoping. I'll come back to you when all the code's done scrolling. Okay, it's telling me everything is done and it's rebooting. Mm -hmm. So let's let it reboot and see what happens. If I get stuck in a Motorola screen, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> Uh, I should also mention, and I'll go back and edit and put this in the first of the video, but uh, it does do a complete wipe of everything, so you need to back up everything you want. Uh, I emailed myself my uh, bookmarks that I had in it because I didn't really know any other way, so if anybody knows, throw me a comment below and let me know how. I uh, don't use Chrome, so Chrome to phone doesn't really work for me. But, uh, hmm, dual core screen's been up for a while, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's starting to boot up now. You hear my computer clicking. Let's hope. <laughs> there we go. Honeycomb screen. So it should be back to stock and it should be stock 3.0.1. And uh, I'll come back in a few minutes to let you know if I get my 3.1 update. Oh, well, not a few minutes. It'll be instant for you. But as I was saying, it's a complete wipe. So you do need to back up all your data, uh, anything you want on it. Uh, I use titanium to back up all my games and stuff, but unless I reboot it, that's not going to do any good. And there we go. We're back to the stock screen, so I'll get everything set up, and we'll find out if I get my 3.1 update. Okay, so now I let all my apps re-download, and everything should be running smoothly. Let's go ahead and check the info and see what we're running at. About tablet. And we're running Android 3.0.1. Let's check system updates system is currently up to date so uh, let's see how long it takes me to get my 3.1 update on it uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I get it uh, I'm not gonna post this video till I get it so we'll see and I'll let you know how long it took me to get it it's like 9 in the morning here now when I'm finished so we'll see what happens alright guys uh, instead of waiting around I decided to reboot it and ignore the time down there because it's off it's only like 10 minutes after 9 here so after I restarted it gave me the option to update so now I'm gonna update and it looks like everything's stocking back to normal so uh, if you wanna go back to stock if you're getting rid of it or you know if you just wanna go stock for a while like I'm going to good idea this is for the US only Wi-Fi version just the Wi-Fi not the 3G version there's different uh, things out there for that uh, it's for a certain model but I believe there's only one US model but I mean be careful use your own discretion read through the forum and watch my video I suggest at least once before you continue with this so I'm gonna update to 3.1 now and wait for that 3.2 update have a good one guys